Guidelines for breast cancer screening changed last month. Many women took notice. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force now recommends women go back to having a yearly mammogram starting at age 40 rather than 50. But why the change and what's the latest in breast cancer research? I spoke with a doctor at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute about the cutting-edge work being pioneered right here in Boston. I think that the most important thing is for women to have a good discussion with their doctors about what might be most appropriate for them. Mm -hmm. And many of these guidelines now really do start at 40, and not all are, on, are every year. Dr. Judy Garber is an internationally recognized leader in breast cancer research and director of the Center for Cancer Genetics and Prevention at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. She's also chief advisor to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. It's important for us to recognize that screening does actually lead to much, much improved breast cancer mortality. What is it you're seeing in the diagnosis of much younger women that troubles you? Everyone is seeing more younger women, more black women who, and, and black women at younger ages. Mm -hmm. That was a big motivator for changing these guidelines back to age 40, where they used to be. Another big concern is for women who have dense breasts. Dr. Garber points out that mammograms aren't perfect, and for some, the addition of other technologies, like a breast MRI, can be important. For most women, dense breasts are a, a fact of life. They're not very easy to change, and they are an indication of increased breast cancer risk. The other piece of the problem is that having more dense tissue makes it harder for the mammogram to see. Now, newer technologies like tomosynthesis, which is really part of the standard of care throughout New England um, and nationally, but breast tomosynthesis can, be, can improve the sensitivity of the mammogram so you can see despite the density. The stubborn complexity of the disease makes investment in the kind of research funded by the Breast Cancer Research Foundation so crucial. Breast Cancer Research Foundation likes to fund high risk, high reward, transformational work. The money raised here stays here and fortunately they raise money elsewhere and send it to Boston because we have so many great researchers. As for optimism about the future, Dr. Garber says she's most excited about new drugs that are making a real difference. We have this great technology of antibody directed or antibody drug conjugates. These are ways of delivering chemotherapy to the tumor using the natural intelligence of antibodies that find cancer cells. They can make the, the treatment more effective and the toxicity less. And this is work that has been pioneered in the Boston area. As promising as this kind of cutting edge research sounds, Dr. Garber says it is not enough. As excited as we are about the wonderful progress in breast cancer, we are not finished. We have more to do, and I want people to feel always that we're thinking about what's the next thing that will help women with metastatic disease, mm -hmm. women with high risk of developing disease. We really don't want our daughters to have to deal with all of this. And Dr. Garber says women should discuss all of these issues with their doctor and ask specific questions about dense breasts and which tests are correct for each person. And WBZ is proud to be the media partner of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And just as an example, David, my sister was diagnosed yeah. with breast cancer in her 30s. So ever since then, every six months, I get a mammogram and then a breast MRI. So that was important for me to do because my risk really yeah. shot up. And so those are the kinds of issues you can talk about with your doctor. That was a really important story and an important interview with obviously an incredible doctor because there is so much information all the time. Sometimes the guidelines are changing. So it's great every once in a while to sort of stop and bring in the latest information. That story was great. She's amazing.